Hello, hello, hello. Welcome and welcome back to Nita Price Plant Paradise. This is the place to come to take the time to exhale and enjoy nature's beautiful creations. Today, I'm showing you a portion of where my some of my plants are. It's like right in the foyer area. And that's the Queen Canervia. Quinn Canervia, sorry, the Hoya, and I'm just showing you that that tendril is like trying to reach for the light, and believe it or not, this is not like upside down, it's just the way I was filming, so if you think it's upside down, it really is not, because I really wanted to take my time and show you how they are progressing. And before I continue, I hope everyone is doing well in whatever part of the world you are in today. But my Quinn, because that's what I call him, Quinn, he is doing so well. He really hasn't given me any new leaves, but it's okay. He's, he looks happy. And then we're moving on. I want to say this is like my forgetty eye. I, I thought I was able to see the name and everything, but I can't remember whether this is one of the hybrids or not. But if you're able to see the name, then you see it is, one, this is one of the plants that I had gotten from North Shore Tropicals. And I up it, and I believe you may have seen the other video where I actually up it again. Yeah, I had up it into a self-watering pot. And it seems to be happy. The only thing is it soaks up a lot of the water. These plants are thirsty. That's all I can say. This is just a, a side note, you all. Just, just know, if you get a self-watering pot and you keep your plant in sphagnum moss it seems like it just drinks the water up quickly and it's okay you know it it happens it happens you just I just have to keep an eye on it so it doesn't dry out because it seems like it will you know dry out kind of fast sometimes even though it's a self in a self watering pot Then this one is my Mikan. You all, you don't want to see what this Mikan look like today. You really don't. The Mikan is really gone. This Mikan stayed by itself for about two years. About two years. It almost made two years. In May, it would have been two years. Yep, I could not get this to just grow. I don't know... It was doing good when I did this footage. This was a couple of weeks ago. Now, I I fell off the beaten path. I don't know. I can't even, like I said, I can't even explain it. It, it is what it is. And I'm going to do a video of my plants that are all gone. Because this, maybe if not this weekend, next weekend, all the plants that are gone, they're out of the house. That's it. I'm over it. And as you can see, there is this knife, um, Nivy. I'm tired, y'all. I'm sorry. That's yeah, I said it right. Navi. It's Navi. It's it's Ivan, the name Ivan backwards. I named this plant after Ivan because I bought this from Equigenera. And I bought it for my birthday. And he told me how to make two plants instead of having one. I took Ivan's advice. Thank you, Ivan. It is doing well. Except for it was this was the better part of the well because I said, okay, what's going on with it? It's still in sphagnum moss. I left it in it because it seemed to really do great. And I think I'm gonna have to add some what do you call that? Perlite. That's what I'm gonna have to do. The plants that I have in the sphagnum moss, I'm going to have to do to put some perlite in it. 
because most of it, most of them just have sphagnum moss as opposed to sphagnum moss and perlite. But this is Navi. And it's two pieces, believe it or not. You're now looking at the other part of it. And I believe, I want to say that was the bottom piece. The mother part of the plant as opposed to the top cutting. This plant loves that light. It loves that corner. It has given me multiple leaves. It's doing, it hasn't gotten big because uh, cause I believe it needs to probably be on a pole. <laughs> and I have not put, put this poor baby on a pole yet. I keep saying, okay, I'm going to get you a pole. Y'all, I have sticks, poles, or whatever. Here, ask me, have I done it? No, I haven't. As, as I told you all, and I thank you all for really working with me, staying with your girl, because I work is extremely busy for me. But now let's get back to the plants. <laughs> I segued there a little bit, you know, did a little and then came back. I brought it back to the plants. And like I said, it's just the way I was filming. It's not really like sideways, like it wanted to be sideways. That's how I was holding it. I wanted it to, you know, a little bit different, a little Spike Lee-ish, if you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> Y'all know how Spike Lee films, and I, I love his, that, that's to me, that's his, that's his unique uh, way of filming. That's his signature. So I just wanted to do something like that and just show you how beautiful the leaves are. Take my time. And like I said, this these are the plants that are in the foyer. Did I say foyer? Foyer. Y'all, I'm sorry. When I say I'm sleepy, I'm sleepy. I'm doing this voiceover. This, this footage was already done, but I just needed to do the voiceover so that I could talk about the plants. I mean, I could have just went on there and added music, but I wanted to talk and let you all know I'm doing okay and hanging in there. Hope you all are doing well and just loving up on your plant babies and stuff because, like I said, I'm loving it. And this is that one with the number, 111. I can never remember what it is. It's, it's 111. That's what I call it, 111. It's doing great. I have it up on a little pole that I kind of wrapped it. Then it falls down. Y'all, all I need to do is just put the Velcro around it. See? And this right here, my Acacoyagensis, Coco, she's doing well. She loves that, her little pole. She goes up it. She's growing. She's To me, she's growing slowly. I don't know whether she likes that pole a lot. Maybe not so much. I don't know. Her her leaves have not got, gotten any bigger. They've stayed that way. But she loves the mix that she's in. And she loves her life there. You know? Look how beautiful those, those leaves are, y'all. Look at that. That's my Coco. She gives me no problems at all. She really doesn't. Except for if I forget to water her. I'm just saying. <laughs> she lets me know. She was turning one of her leaves, I believe, is turning yellow as we speak. And I said, what? What's going on with you? I looked. She was dry as a chip. I said, bad plant mommy right now. Bad plant mommy. Y'all, I'm so sorry. I'm doing I hope y'all don't get mad with me and say, Nita, what were you doing? No, seriously. I was it was the way I was holding. The camera and I said, "Well, I said I'm gonna go with it like this." Mm -hmm. Yeah, I am. All right, y'all. Thanks for hanging with me. That's it. Stay safe, guys.